The South Australian Railway Company was an attempt by private capitalists to establish a railway in the infant colony of South Australia. The company was based in London, where most of the capital was to be raised, £25,000 in the first instance. There were two or three local directors. Since in the days before electric undersea cable telegraph, London was too far away for effective control. Topic Routes. The first route from Adelaide to Port Adelaide was only six miles long, quite straight and flat, and suitable for horse-drawn operation. The initial line was to be single track, with frequent crossing loops. A longer route the Borough Copper Mines was proposed later on. <laughs> <laughs> directors British directors possibly incomplete, G. F. Angus, E. S. Q., George Barnes E. S. Q., W. G. Gover, E. S. Q., Roland Hill, E. S. Q., J. B. Montefiore, E. S. Q., Managing Director — Edwin Hill, E. S. Q., Colonial Director — Robert Gouger, E. S. Q. The Provisional Committee in February 1846 was Collapse In the event the railway was too ambitious, and ahead of its time. It was stillborn. Timeline 1836 – Colony founded February 1846 – Advertisement for prospectus to raise capital of £25,000, with power to increase July 1846 – Special meeting to approve amalgamation with the Adelaide City and Port Railway Company 1850 – Survey of his proposed line to a point distant 65 to 70 miles from Adelaide, and only 26 miles from the Borough Borough Copper Mines 1854 – Steam-operated government railway opens. 1856 – Sir — May I be permitted to inquire what has become of the funds collected by the South Australian Railway Company? I hold scrip, of which the 1865 – A South Australian Railway Company has been projected, and several influential parties are moving in the matter. Topic. See also Rail transport in South Australia List of former Australian railway companies <laughs>